Thanks, Lori. A Russian cyber attack has hit a number of federal agencies, including the Energy Department. U.S. officials saying that they have worked to contain the damage, but the list of potential victims is long, including state governments and corporations. So what's going on here? Fox's Doug Luzader joins us live from Washington, D.C. with a little bit of an explanation, hopefully. Doug, good morning. Nadina, good morning. A number of federal agencies were hit. The only one that we've given the, been given the name of is the Energy Department, but this was kind of a multi-tiered attack that included the public sector and the private sector. Here's what the president had to say about that. Can you say anything about the cyber attack today for us? No. A terse response from President Biden about this most recent cyber attack that hit a group of federal agencies, including the Energy Department. Oregon's Department of Transportation and Louisiana's Office of Motor Vehicles were among the targets exposing personal information. The head of the Federal Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Agency would only say that an investigation is underway. We don't have a full understanding of what the impacts are or whether there are impacts, but we're working through it very aggressively. Aggressively because this is a growing headache for U.S. officials. And while a criminal gang may have been behind this most recent attack, there have been fears that the Russian government would step up its attacks in response to U.S. support for Ukraine. And China, too, represents a major threat. And on Capitol Hill, concerns about possible groundwork that we're not even aware of. And some of this we don't know um, whether they have uh, already infiltrated our infrastructure and just have not yet disabled it, or uh, whether they've, uh, so that's, that's a continuing item of concern. And if there were to be a conflict between the U.S. and China, all bets are off. And they would try to defeat us at home to attack our electric grid, to attack oil and gas distribution, to attack our financial system, take ATM machines away from us, etc., to do as much as the damage as they possibly can to break American will. And it would cost us lives. It costs lives. And this really is kind of the new face of modern warfare. Uh, the U.S. also maintains an offensive capability, but defense is tough. It's tough to stay, Dina, one step ahead of the bad actors here. I mean, yeah, when you're uh, fighting uh, the cyber warfare, h how do you compete with people, with enemies that you can't see? That's right. I mean, you have to be right all the time. They only need to be right once to breach one of these systems. Uh, and that's where it is very difficult. These, these folks, especially these criminal enterprises, work with a very entrepreneurial kind of spirit uh, where they're just finding the vulnerabilities in software and getting into these systems. Wow, it's a, a scary thought. Uh, the only thing we can say going forward is that we know there's a team, teams of people uh, trying to attack the problem. That's right, and it really is kind of a partnership, a public-private a public partnership, because businesses obviously have a lot to lose in these ransomware attacks. So there is a kind of a, 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 co a cooperative uh, aspect to all of this with the government working with the private industry. All right, very good. Uh, Doug Luzader, it looks beautiful, by the way, behind you. I mean, just like a postcard, blue skies. Yeah, it's, it's very nice. I think we have some rain coming in, but oh. at the moment it's very nice here. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's how Washington is, right? One, one minute it's, right. everyone's real nice. There's the always a minute. cloud hanging over us here. <laughs> the cloud is moving in. Uh, happy Father's Day, by the way. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.